So I've got a bit of a random haul for you guys. This is a homeware slash clothing haul because it's not enough clothing to be its own clothing haul and it's not enough homeware to be its own homeware haul. I'm very Breaking Bad themed today. As many of you know, I'm obsessed with the show Breaking Bad. It's one of my favorite shows. I was watching it right from the very beginning. When Breaking Bad finished, a little part of me died inside. It was very, very hard time. In all seriousness, who else mourned the show Breaking Bad? Like, I watched Breaking Bad and then at the very end, with the last season, I watched Talking Bad and it was just like, oh, ugh. I can't wait for the Better Call Saul series. That'll be really awesome, you know, to see kind of like what he got up to as a character way before like Jesse Pinkman and, you know, Walter White. So when I saw this Breaking Bad top, I just had to have it. I'm also wearing my Breaking Bad necklace, which I've had in an outfit of the day before. I'll put links to all the items mentioned in this video in the down bar as always. I got this from, I think it's Person Mall. Yeah, it's called Person Mall, but it's like not spelt right. So it's like Person Mall. I've got to say I've never ordered from them before and it's really, really cozy. It's kind of like a silk material. And I think that the image is also really good quality. It's not like, you know, when you've got really, really cheap material and then you print an image on it. And sometimes if it stretches on your body, like leggings, for example, it destroys the pattern and things like that. Well, stretch this across my boobs and stuff and I've had no issues whatsoever. So that's a good thing to note. You know, it's really good quality. It's also really comfortable. You know, it's not itchy at all. It was also really decently priced. As a massive Breaking Bad fan, I absolutely love this top and it's really comfortable. It's from the scene in Breaking Bad, I think, where he jumps in the pool after all of the money. I think that's the scene it's from. Um, I really like Breaking Bad and I really, really miss it. So I thought that this would make a nice little momentum to my wardrobe. And you know, it's something to go with my necklace which I will also link down below and I got this from Etsy I think it is yeah but this isn't new I've had this for quite a long time it's got like you know the little fake crystal meth and a little Walter White face on it well Heisenberg I like how this is kind of Walter White and then my necklace is kind of the Heisenberg side to things sprucing it up a bit anyway I'm gonna move on to the next thing that I got from Person Wall and that is a t-shirt and this is what I got Ta -da! It's also got the print on the back. As a music lover, saw that t-shirt and straight away just had to have it. Just had to have it. Kinda like this Breaking Bad top. That's all that I got from personmall.com. I'm very happy with the quality of both items and I'm really digging the style of them both. So yeah, link the items to that down below. So before I start with the really interesting things that I bought for the house, I thought I'd mention this Palmolive hand wash. This stuff smells amazing. It's the lavender and chamomile caring and aromatic hand wash. And this is just in my bathroom at the moment. The little things in life, like choosing the hand wash for your bathroom and your kitchen. I love the smell of this. It's beautiful, it's really relaxing. And I found myself looking forward to washing my hands with this stuff. Not that I'm an eight year old child that needs to be told to wash her hands or bribed by nice scents to wash your hands. I just genuinely really like the smell of this. It was only a pound, so yeah, really good. I thought I'd give that a mention because I bought it like the other day. So this is for my home. Can we class it as homeware? The next items I'm gonna talk about I got from Iwantoneofthose.com. And when you go onto the website, it says iWoot in the corner. And I stumbled across this website by pure chance because I was just looking at really random quirky things for my house because I don't want it to be really boring and really typical. So every month I've kind of been buying a little something for the house that's just a little bit different. And because I haven't really bought anything for the house in the past two months because I've had like, you know, money going elsewhere to more important things. Sigh, adult life, hashtag 99 problems, but my house might be one. Kind of. It's hashtag, fuck you Scottish power taking all of my money. Hashtag, that's enough hashtags, why am I hashtagging everything? So I'm gonna start with the first thing, which is one of my favorite things I've ever seen, ever, ever. Look at it, I have many an idea. Can you not just imagine, like a little comic, and I'm thinking of something and we attach the cloud to my head? No, yes, maybe. I am obsessed with storage. I'm the worst person on the planet for being obsessed with storage. 
If it's funky storage, I'm in love with it and I'm all over it. And as soon as I saw this, I thought, how can I resist? You've got kind of like a section here, three sections here, and then underneath, it's kind of like a drawer. I'm gonna put this next to my bed and then put my charger in it, you know, my phone there, some bits and bobs, so any medication or anything that I might want near the side of my bed, or maybe some makeup wipes, if I can't be bothered taking my makeup off at night, probably. You know, I thought that would be a nice little touch because I've not really got much storage in my bedroom at the moment, so I thought this would be really nice. I have a funny feeling it's gonna end up on my desk though because all the funky storage that I have always ends up on my desk in my office always I'm gonna try and keep this next to my bed though <laughs> because I always just end up with like a pile of crap near my bed so I want to try and avoid that with my little storage cloud and that's what it's called on the website storage cloud I saw it though and I just kind of thought sleeping put it at the side of my bed it's kind of like a sleep bubble kind of maybe but I'm excited I always get so excited about storage. Ah, the next thing's still wrapped up because I haven't took it out yet because I was saving it for this haul. <laughs> I'm gonna do a close-up of this one in a minute because it's kind of heavy. I didn't expect it to be so heavy, but it's basically a record player chopping board. I needed a chopping board. I like music. I was sold again to this item because it's music related. I, I can't help myself and I think it might have been about 15 quid. Probably could have got a cheaper chopping board, but once I saw it, I kind of thought, I'm going to treat myself because I love it and it's really retro and my kitchen's kind of towards the red side so I thought it would kind of match with my kitchen so I just I just had to get it just had to had to and the last thing I got is also storage because I'm obsessed with storage may as well call this storage haul kind of not really the next thing that I got is this giant speaker but it's not a speaker it's actually storage and it's too big for me to actually get in the frame so I will show you another little clip that I'm gonna do after I film this video of this box. I have no idea what I plan to put in this yet. I'm kind of thinking that it's either gonna go in the corner of the bedroom or it's gonna go in the corner of the living room. But I thought it might be a really cool idea to actually invest in four of these and stack them. So stack like two in the bedroom, like one at each side of the bed, or maybe stack them downstairs like so. I can store like Athena's toys in it maybe. I just kind of thought that it might look quite nice in my living room next to my TV full of Athena's toys. But at the same time, I'm kind of leaning towards keeping it in the bedroom. So I think I might just test it out in both rooms and see which one I like it the most in. Or maybe just go out and get another one and have one in each room. But I'm stuck on what to do with it at the moment. It was a speaker. My brain went, music, must buy. My brain goes, is that related to music? Yes. Check out, yes. Can I resist temptation? No. So in relation to the stuff that I've bought for my house, I received a packet in the post yesterday and I had no idea what it was. I had no idea what it was. And when I opened it, I knew it was artwork because of the way that it had been packaged and it was very neatly packaged away. And I thought to myself, what is this? What is this? Oh my God. I am in love with, I'm in love with it. I am in love love. I'm going to change position to show you guys because I feel as though the light will reflect. She's put them in shiny packets to obviously, you know, protect them. I don't really want to show you guys in the angle I'm sitting at the moment because like I said, I'm still experimenting with lighting and I think that the light's just going to instantly bounce off it and you won't be able to see like how awesome these are. So when I opened the packet way before I saw the artwork, there was this little orange post-it note. Dear Jess, I saw that we both happen to be major Breaking Bad and Fight Club fans. In one of your vids a while back, thought you might like some art for your new apartment. Thank Thank you for being an inspiring human being and best wishes to you and your cute little family. Love from New York. P.S. Enjoy the giant paper clip. <laughs> and this was sent to me by the lovely Anne. I won't say your last name on the internet just in case you don't want me to. But seriously, like when I opened it and I saw it and I saw Jesse Pinkman, I thought, oh my God, this is amazing. Because like I said, I'm gonna show you guys this artwork and my God, it is amazing. And here we have Jesse Pinkman, woohoo. I love the pink and the blue in this. I love the shading, it's really awesome. He also kind of reminds me of Jesus in this picture too. So I'm gonna have Jesus, you know, just, just chilling. Well, Jesus, bitch. <laughs> it's only after we've lost everything that we're free to do anything. I absolutely love that quote. So I thought it was really, really awesome how she sent me this as an artwork. It's amazing. And she didn't tell me whether or not she'd done them herself. She hasn't specified, but if you have, these are awesome and you are such a talented artist. 
and I'm very honoured to have you work in my home. I really, really love these. So that's all for today's video. I know it's not been the longest video ever, but I kind of just want to show you these things that I picked up from my house. And at the same time, I saw a slot to film a video and I jumped right in there. So I will list everything in the down bar and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>